even as an avid perennial garden, occasionally you have to break the mold and go get some of those annuals or tropicals just because of the consistent color that they bring to your garden, or maybe they provide some interesting texture and form. With water plants, there's a couple of bog plants that, such as the Egyptian papyrus behind us, that makes for a nice plant, but they last for one season. We're gonna show you how to extend the life of those by bringing them indoors and bringing them inside in a way other than putting them in your bathtub all winter long. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and get your bog plant out of the water garden. And they're pretty tough plants to, to mess with. You can see here, we've got quite an overgrown um, Egyptian papyrus. In fact, it's growing out of its container. So we're gonna just try to work this out of the pot that it's in right now. And while these are tropical, they're a bit like ornamental grasses as far as how to handle them. So we're gonna go in here and just divide this by cutting it in half into divisions. So like this right here could be one plant. So we're just gonna go in here and kind of quarter this up a little bit. Obviously, this plant would have been too large to bring inside, so what we've done is we've quartered it up, and now we have a more manageable plant to protect this winter and bring inside. What we're going to do is go ahead and pot that up. Uh, we have a pot here. You want to make sure to pot it up in one that does have holes so that we don't have to put water all the way over the pot. We're just going to put water down low. So we've got this here. We're going to get some soil, and this is true topsoil. It's not potting soil. It's just good Oklahoma clay dirt. And the reason why we're using that is because we don't want the soil to float when it is in water. So this clay soil will stay compacted in and around this plant. Now with all water plants, we do want to put some rocks along the top here, and that'll just keep that soil from coming out and also from some of our fish from digging in there later on. But of course we're doing this so we can bring this plant inside as a water plant um, and, and use it as a house plant during the winter time and over winter so next spring we don't have to go buy another tropical annual. So how are we going to keep this bog plant alive all winter long? We're not asking you to fill up your bathtub. In fact, what you can do though instead is get a decorative container just like this one that has no holes in it. So this is gonna be like our micro water garden inside. We've got our bog plant here. It is in a pot that does have holes down low, so we don't have to fill this whole container up with water. Instead, what we're gonna do is just fill it up with a couple of inches of water just enough so that those roots can get that moisture. You're gonna to wanna to put this in a sunny location in your house. Actually, the moisture that we're adding into this container will add humidity into your home that is often dry in those winter months. You're just gonna to wanna to keep an eye on that water level uh, and ensure that there remains about an inch or so of water in here for this bog plant. Now it's not gonna actively continue growing, but it will stay alive and viable for you to take out into your water garden next spring. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.